Hi, thanks for purchasing the starter cleaning kit from Don Asset's Cleaning Center. We've brought together all of the products that you need to clean virtually your entire home from top to bottom. I'm going to show you how to use them so that you get professional results and you can clean faster, better, and easier than you ever have before. Okay, let's get started. The first room we're going to talk about is the bathroom. For most of us, that's the toughest room to clean in the house, and there are two primary problems. There's toilet rings in the toilet bowl, and then there's hard water in the shower or bath. So I'm going to start talking about the toilet bowl first. The first thing you need is a professional stink cleaner, like Safety Foam. The reason Safety Foam works is because it's an acidic-based cleaner that's going to break through the scale. You can only remove toilet bowl rings one of two ways, either with a chemical or with agitation, and I'll talk about that in a minute. The other thing that you're going to get is a Johnny Mop. This is not like a brush and not what you're used to using because it's used in a completely different fashion. And once you've tried it this way, you'll never go back. The first thing you're going to do is lower the water level. Then you're going to use the fluffy, spot, the fluffy top on it and you're going to pour safety foam. You only need about an ounce directly on here and then go inside the toilet bowl. The reason you lower the water level is because you want the chemical to come in contact with the ring at full strength, not diluted, which is what happens when you pour it in in the normal way that you may have been cleaning. The last thing we've included for that is that we have a caddy so that you can store your safety foam and your Johnny Mop in your caddy so that it's ready to use whenever you need it. Let's talk about agitation for a minute. Sometimes your ring is so built up or it's so many different types of minerals that you can't get through it with just a chemical the first time. That's when you want to use a pumice stone. A pumice stone is softer than the inside of your toilet bowl. On a Moore's hardness scale, your toilet bowl is a 7 and a pumice stone is only a 2. The only time you don't want to use a pumice stone is if you have a colored toilet bowl because that is, they're created differently and that can create problems. You get it wet and then you just rub the inside like a pencil eraser. Make sure you go up all the way under the lip because that's where the water comes down and if you've got iron or calcium or other elements in your water, it's going to build up there too and your toilet is not going to work as efficiently anymore. In the shower or bath, you've got hard water scale. And hard water scale is actually a combination of things. It's not just mineralization. It's also a combination of body oils or specialty care products like conditioners or shampoos that build up in, the, in between the layers of the minerals so that it's very difficult to get off without using a combination cleaner with a detergent in it. And what this will do is it will get through the layers all the way to the bare surface. What you want to do first is make sure that you get it wet and then you want to agitate it with a scratch resistant scrubber and we've included the hourglass scrubber in your kit and then let it sit. Dwell time is a very important element for professional cleaners because that allows the chemical to do the work. So what you want to do is what Don calls the multi-track system when you're cleaning your bathroom. Start with your toilet bowl, prepare your toilet bowl, put your cleaner on, and then let it sit for about five minutes. While it's sitting, then you start your shower, spray your shower, don't scrub, don't scrub it, just agitate it around a little bit so you've got all of the areas covered, and then let it sit and go back and finish up the toilet bowl. When you're finished with the toilet bowl and you've rinsed your swab and put it away, then you come back to your shower and finish up your shower. You may have to agitate when you first start using it because it's, the buildup has been on there for a long time. Another tool that's going to help you is a professional grout brush. This is not a toothbrush. This is a professionally designed grout brush with a strong handle on it that keeps your fingers up out of the cracks and crevices and is angled so that you can work the track like if you have a shower or you can work around the different fixtures in your bathroom and make sure you get into the cracks and crevices with it. When you're all done, you want to make sure that you rinse it well and then use your shower squeegee so that you don't create more buildup. Most of us have hard floors in different areas of our home. Whether they're wood, laminate, tile, or whatever, you can use Clean and Bright to clean all of those surfaces. It doesn't matter what type of mop you're using and the important thing to remember is that not only do you need a cleaner that's going to help remove the dirt, lift it up to the surface so the mop can remove it, but also this has an optical brightener so it's going to help bring back a little bit of the shine to your floors. It's not like a finish where it's going to repair a scratched floor, but it is going to make them look nicer. Even if you're using a microfiber mop, it's important to remember that microfiber can only clean what it can reach, and what you want to do is actually go in and emulsify the dirt and bring it up to the surface so the mop can whisk it away. The easiest way to mop your floors is to get your pad wet, 
have your ready to use clean and bright, spray the floor and then just mop over the top of it. You'll be amazed how quickly it goes. We've also included our A to Z multipurpose disinfectant. A disinfectant is a useful tool on the high traffic areas of your home. One of the most important areas that you should disinfect is door handles because all of us touch them. Other areas include the toilet bowl handle, sinks, telephones, and you can also use this on your kitchen counter. What makes this particular product unique is that it doesn't leave streaks. So it, regardless of what you're doing and whether or not it has a high shine or not, it's not going to leave streaks on the surface. We've also included Soil Master. This is a great all-purpose cleaner to use throughout your home. It's a degreaser, so it's going to work no matter where you use it in the house. Common areas that you need a degreaser, the most common area is probably the kitchen. The kitchen tends to get airborne grease every time you cook. It micronizes and it settles on different surfaces, whether they're cupboards or the stove hood or the stove top itself or even the counters. And sometimes a regular cleaner is just not strong enough to break through the grease that can build up. You can also use Soil Master on throughout the home in areas like your walls where you get greasy fingerprints. If you've got a stair railing and your family tends to slide their hands down the stair railing, it helps break through that hand oil, grease, and dirt that can build up there so that you can get it clean all the way down to the surface. If you use it on cabinets, wood cabinets, or your floors, it's important to remember this is not a neutral cleaner. It has a higher pH and you're not going to want to leave it on there for very long. You're going to want to wipe it off with a clean damp towel to make sure that you don't dull the surface of the wood cabinet or the floor. It's important to use only neutral cleaners on wood. We've included several different tools for you to use throughout your home. The first one I'm going to talk about is the microfiber polishing cloth. It's a large towel so that you, it makes it easy for you to clean windows, glass, or any other smooth surface. This cloth is, is very smooth and the reason for that is because it's going to give you a cleaner polish and it's also going to be virtually lint free. This is the most lint free cloth available. If you use a polishing cloth on electronics, remember that you never spray electronics directly with water. Always spray it onto the cloth and then polish your TV screen or your computer screen. You don't want to damage the electronic surface. Next we have a dusting mitten. What makes this nice is that you can just put it on your hand and use it all around the home to pick up the dust. When you use microfiber, you want to use it dry to dust. It creates a static charge and it's going to trap and hold the dust, not scatter it around like some dusting tools can. And this, with it on your hand, is going to allow you to move in and out of things quickly and easily and track and hold all of the dust. It also can be used damp, not as a dusting tool, but as a cleaning tool if you have something like spindles on your stair and you need to clean all the way around them. It makes it much faster and easier for, to, for you to do that because you've got it right there on your hand. Finally, we've included an all-purpose microfiber towel. This one is also large, 16 by 16, but it has a very different texture than the polishing cloth. This one is fuzzy and that actually helps the cleaning property of the microfiber. You can use it in the kitchen. It's great on the refrigerator for cleaning the fingerprints off the door. You can use it on the countertops for cleaning up daily spills. You can use it on the stove top. It's great for polishing if you've got touch screen uh, appliances. It will polish those beautifully. Stainless steel it works on. The door to the pantry. Pretty much anything in the kitchen. In the bathroom, it's great on the counters. You can use it on the mirrors as, as you can with a polishing cloth. You can use it on the toilet. And it will trap and hold the, the germs. And then all you need to do is machine wash and dry. Microfiber is a unique cleaning material in that it absorbs up to seven times its weight in messy li liquids or spills. It's also not cut like a regular cleaning cloth. Typical fibers are round and they push the dirt along the surface. Microfiber is actually split into wedges and it scoops the dirt up into the cloth where it can be washed away at a later time. You'll find that microfiber cleans virtually anything in your home. In a lot of cases you'll only need water, but if you need more cleaning power you can use it with a chemical like the Soil Master or the A to Z to help your cleaning. This does require a little bit different care. You do machine wash, tumble dry low, make sure that you don't include bleach because the fibers are so fine it'll wear them down prematurely and don't wash with fabric softener because the fabric softener will actually get trapped in the, the wedges of the microfiber and make it less useful. 
The starter cleaning kit comes all packed in a caddy, and that's good for two reasons. The first is it gives you a place to store all your chemicals so that they're ready to go whenever you need them. But more importantly, Don will be the first one to tell you that you save a lot of time if you don't have to backtrack and you've got everything that you need right there with you. So as long as you keep your supplies all carefully stored in your caddy, every time you're ready to go, you, everything you need to do just about any cleaning job in your home will be right there ready and waiting for you so that you can just carry it with you. Just like that.